Hello, this is the HEQ5 Pro mount from Skywatcher. I want to talk about calibrating the polar scope so that you can use the circles to actually set up the polar scope and find the correct position for Polaris. Basically what you want to do is start off with the mount roughly in the polar home position. That is pointing roughly at Polaris so that you can you know, see by looking up the mount that Polaris is roughly in the field. Set your right ascension circle to zero. This is also the time circle. And this is the date circle. And this little white mark is the date circle mark. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn them out right now until Polaris, when you look through the scope, there's a little circle for Polaris. Move it until that little circle is pointing straight down. Let me show you through the scope if I can right now. Let's put the camera up to the polar scope and see if you can actually see. Right now the circle for Polaris is pointing straight up, so I'm going to rotate the mount until it's pointing straight down. Up to the camera over here. So I'll loosen my right ascension lock, and I'll rotate the mount. I know that roughly in this position Polaris is pointing straight down. Let's see if I can put the scope back up to the polar scope again so you can actually see that. There you go, it's not quite straight down, but for my illustration purposes it might be close enough. There we go, now it's pointing straight down. That's the position, so take this away. Okay, so I have Polaris, the position for Polaris straight down. I lock my right ascension circle at zero, and now I go to my date circle, and I turn the date circle so that it indicates the proper date and time for that position for Polaris. You need to look on the internet, on the web, and find out when Polaris is in transit for your position in the world. For Western Canada, I know that the 1st of March at 4pm is when Polaris is in transit. That means Polaris is directly above the celestial pole or straight down in the poloscope because the poloscope is inverted. So I'm going to find the mark for the 1st of March and it's the long stroke between the 2 and the 3 that is there. That's the position for 1st of March. I move that round until it reads 1600 on my mount, which is way around here. Kind of awkward to show. But now the long stroke between 2 and the 3 is at 16, and that's the correct position at which Polaris would be straight down in the mount. Now I lock the right ascension circle at 0, <coughs> and what I have to do now is without moving the date circle or the mount, I have to undo the little screw that's on this inner black circle, and I move it until the white strokes read 0 on the mount. I've already done this. And basically once you do that, lock, lock the little screw, and that's you done. Then when you bring the mount back to its normal position, like the polar home position, what you do, to you go out at night and you're ready to you know, put Polaris in the proper position, lock your right ascension circle at zero, and now you turn the mount until the proper date that it is tonight, and the uh, date circle indicates the proper time on the mount, and then when you look through the scope, you then move the mount to put Polaris in the correct position. You don't do it by moving the circles, you do it by using the altitude um, adjusters and by using the azimuth adjusters here. And that will actually calibrate your, that scope actually calibrated for Polaris to be in the correct position.